Have you ever tried to stop a rushing bull dead in his tracks? That's exactly what we're faced with in our Project Blown Z, a 2002 fourth gen Camaro destined for the drag strip while pushing a staggering 1300 horsepower. All that horsepower also needs to stop with a curb weight of over 3,300 pounds. Our answer came from a company famous for rinse, Mosier Engineering, a company with a legacy in drag racing and a history of manufacturing industry-leading performance parts. Mosier's brand new performance drag kit was engineered from a clean sheet of paper to provide the best-in-class stopping power, rock-solid reliability, and ease of maintenance. Follow along as Power TV takes a closer look. On the table here is Moser's M9 rear end that we're going to put into our Camaro and in my hand is Moser's Competition Race 4 Piston Brake Kit which is made out of all billet aluminum. This kit includes two calipers, pad pins, one set of pads, mounting brackets, billet aluminum hats, and the 3 8 steel drilled rotors. These are cross shield for additional cooling but they are a plate rotor so less weight to deal with over an OE style rotor. Additionally, the caliper and rotor design allows for 25% more pad contact than other competing calipers for better performance, stopping, and reliability. When it came to brake pads, Mosier turned to Hawk, which is one of the leading pad technology companies for the aftermarket. To help reduce warping, sticking, and weight, Mosier went with the two-piece design here for the rotor and hat. No bolts slides right in, locks in place, and uses a retaining ring on the back side here to hold itself in place. The calipers feature dual crossover ports for faster releasing, which means you get out of the hole faster than the guy next to you. Just like most of this kit, the calipers are constructed from 6061 T6 built aluminum instead of cheap cast. Also, the dual pad pin design with O-rings help eliminate pad chatter. These calipers come assembled with stainless steel pistons and Teflon coated one-piece bleeder screws. This brake kit comes race ready and track tested with over four years of R&D to ensure reliability and braking performance. Best of all, this is 100% made in the USA. <music> Assembling the brakes is pretty simple. First you're going to take that keyed hat and install the keyed rotor onto it. And then you're going to have the snap ring. Feed the snap ring into the groove all the way around until it fits completely inside and snug. It will not move back and forth at this point. Next, install the caliper bracket. You don't have to take the axle out to do this. It just slides right behind the axle and onto the normal four bolt style flange. Now with the caliper mounting bracket bolts tightened down, slide the rotor onto the axle. To keep the rotor flat on the axle hub, use a lug nut and that'll help keep everything nice and straight. Before you want to install the calipers, you're gonna to wanna to assemble the pads into the calipers. Slide the Hawk pads down onto the caliper with the material facing the rotor side. The caliper will use two pad pins to hold the Hawk pads in place. They will be secured on the back side with a cotter pin. Once the pads are assembled inside the caliper, slide the caliper onto the mounting bracket and secure the bolts. Finally, install the brake line fittings and make sure you do not over tighten. Now the first time you take this brake kit to the track, just plan on doing some brake in. Three hard stops will help properly burnish the pads. It shows in the construction of this brake kit exactly how much time Mosier has spent engineering the system. Now all you guys are running slower in six seconds. Hot street cars, sportsman classes, X275, this bracket system will work great. Now when it comes to slowing down our fortune at over 175 miles an hour, we have the confidence backed by Mosier to know that we can get it done safely.